hello guys um good day to you and welcome to this tutorial my name is zeno and i'm going to show you how to install wordpress on your computer or your local machine okay so there are five steps um we're going to follow to have wordpress installed on our local machine okay and they're outlined here so um ideally you should um install wordpress on your hosting server okay but sometimes you may want to um, install WordPress on a local machine and complete developing or complete designing a website before you then transfer to your web hosting. So that's also possible or just for the purpose of creating tutorials you could have WordPress installed on your computer. So let's get to it. The first step is to download and install ZAMP. Okay so ZAMP is, is software. So now first off let's open up our browser and just type download ZAMP okay so um, the first result should be what we need okay which is this apachefriends.org so I'm just gonna click on it and it opens up so I have a Windows 10 machine a Windows 10 64 bit machine so basically that's what I'm going to download if you have a Linux uh, machine or a Linux OS you can as well um, download the Linux and then there's also the version for your Mac okay so um, basically I'm just gonna download the Windows 64 bit and this is it so I already have it downloaded on my machine so I'm just not gonna bother um, downloading it again so after downloading it what you want to do is you want to install it so basically just find um, the folder where um the application is on your machine okay in my case it's download and programs so next just um, right click and install so basically right click open or run as administrator whichever one that's it so the, the second step is to download wordpress so i'm assuming you've downloaded and installed zamp so the next step is to download wordpress so the same way just come to your browser and search for download wordpress okay it should be the first um, website you see wordpress.org forward slash download so basically just go ahead and download wordpress i already have wordpress downloaded on my system so i'm not going to bother but go ahead and download wordpress now it will be downloaded as a zip file okay so now we're going to step three we're going to unzip wordpress and copy the unzipped version of wordpress into our zamp folder so let me just look for wordpress on my desktop okay wordpress yeah and i'm going to right click and extract so i'm just going to quickly extract it um it should take some time but just give it less than a minute it should be done okay so um the wordpress has been unzipped on my machine so basically what you want to do i'm just going to open the wordpress folder and show you the files so when you install wordpress on your web hosting server this is what you see when um, when you open your index your um, um folder on your server okay so basically i'm just going to copy this wordpress folder i'm just going to copy it and let's navigate to uh, zamp installation so where are we on our steps so we've unzipped wordpress now we're going to copy it to zamp um ht docs folder so i'm going to go to my windows and to zamp okay so um i'm in zamp folder right now now what i need to do is i need to locate this folder called ht docs and open it up okay so next i'll paste the wordpress um file here so this is the WordPress um, folder rather I'm pasting here. Okay, so um, the WordPress um, folder is right here. Now what I want to do next is I'm going to rename this WordPress folder to 
whatever um, website I want to, you know, create. So I'm just going to rename it to test, you know, just um, a demo because of the purpose of this demonstration. So test, right? Okay, so it's right here. Now, what's the next step? The next step is to create a database where our WordPress will be installed. Where our WordPress data will be stored, rather. Okay, so um, to do that, you need to start ZAMP. Okay, so I'm just going to say ZAMP. Okay, so this is the ZAMP control panel. I'm going to open it. Yeah, so this is what the ZAMP control panel looks like. Now, basically, what you want to do at this point is you want to start the Apache and MySQL. Okay. So having um, started the two services, next, on the MySQL tab, click on Admin. Basically, it will open the PHP My Admin um, interface. And at this point, I'm going to create the database for our WordPress installation. Okay. So um, PHP My Admin is fully open. And basically, you just want to click on this database at the top left. So click on Database. And it says here, Create Database. So I'm going to call the name of this database Test and um, I'm going to give it a type of collation so do the same on your end so test collation and then create oh it says this database already exists so I'm just going to say um, test one okay let's add a T T S T T and let's create it so I've created a test with the two t with two T's okay so what's the last step okay so now the last step is I'm going to open my browser and go to localhost forward slash test, which is the name of the um, WordPress folder in a htdocs file. So I'm just going to say, I'll, I'll type it out. I'll say localhost, right, forward slash test. Okay, so I'll, you know. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up WordPress. Um, I'm going to set it to English language and click on continue. And basically, it's just telling me here that these are the things I need to have to be able to install WordPress. So, and I already have them. Basically, I created the database. That's all we need. So I'll click on let's go. And the database name is, remember, test, it's 2T. And the username is root. So set your username to root. You know we did not set any username. Just set it to root. That's the default. Delete the password. Give the database host to localhost and the table prefix as same. And click on submit. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to run the installation. So here is where we write our site title and a username. So I'm just going to go with test as well for the username and the password also test. And of course, if the password is weak, I have to confirm the use of a weak password. Basically, it's just for the purpose of this tutorial. So next, I'll just select an email. And I'll click on install WordPress. Okay, so next, I'll let's just log in. Okay, so my, remember my username is test and the password is Okay, so I'm logged in into WordPress and as you can see it's installed right on my computer. So um, basically that's how you can install WordPress on your local machine. Um, so the essence of this is I can Essentially, if I have installed my plugins and my themes, I can work on WordPress on directly on my local machine. In other words, it's not on a server. Um, so basically, that's um, how to install WordPress on your local machine. Um, feel free to subscribe to this channel, Xenotrust Academy, uh, for more tutorials on programming, WordPress, and so many other tech-related stuffs. Okay, but always remember that... Um, for you to be able to run WordPress on your local machine without the internet, you need to have your ZAMP open and running. 
So ZAMP control panel needs to be open and you need to start the Apache and the MySQL service. These two services have to be running for your WordPress. Okay now, so having installed WordPress, come over to your plugins and click on add new. And right now we are going to search for Elementor page builder. So I'm just going to search for Elementor and yeah, so this is it, the very first one. I'm going to install it. Okay, so having installed Elementor, next click on activate. And as you can see, Elementor has been installed and activated on the um, local installation of WordPress. Now, what I want to do now is uh, let me just quickly check um, what the front end of the um, website looks like. So I'm just going to go to localhost. Um, let's just open a new tab and say localhost forward slash test and then click on enter. So this is what the front of the website look like. So we have a standard WordPress installation with Elementor installed. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, subscribe. Thanks.